People don't realize that. Like, girl, I got like three, four friends, max. And one of the, like, okay, one of my friends is my roommate. I live with her. And like, like this other, like my other friend, I've like known her since like I was in high school. She, she can't get rid of me. <laughs> um, and like, and like when I hang out with my best friend, like I hang out with her boyfriend. So then like, he's there. And then I like, I know like four people max. It's, I'm living my little introverted life. And I feel like no one understands like how introverted I actually am. Because I'm literally, I don't go out guys. Like I, when I go out, I'm with my mother. I'm acting like, like when I go out, I literally go out with my family. I'm not seeing anybody. No, because that's what I'm scared of. Like a lot of people don't think before they say things on the internet. And well, sometimes it can be a little bit crippling though, because then you're overthinking about what you're saying and then it just becomes an entire thing. I know that having a small circle is technically better than knowing a lot of people and not having like really like quality over quantity. But the thing is, is that like sometimes like you're like hanging out with people who like have a lot of friends and you're like, maybe I am missing out because hanging out with an extrovert is such a different experience. So yeah. I have I haven't seen the entire satellite music video, but I saw like little clips and the little robot is so cute. I don't know, I think that's maybe why like I'm a little bit like isolated in my college life just cuz like I'm I like don't have FOMO. <laughs> I feel like when you have FOMO, you you like do so many more things, but I literally don't have FOMO. So like there's like nothing pushing me to go out because I literally have no fear of missing out on anything. Like, cause I have this genuine belief that you can't miss out on like anything that's meant for you. So then I just don't go out. Which is why I need my friends because my friends force me to go out because I will literally live my little hermit life if I didn't have friends. This is really cold now. I like to talk way too much. But it's so good. So I don't care that it's cold. I have so much work to do. I don't want to think about. So, I'll start doing my work at like 11.30. Cause there's so much of it and I took a nap, so I feel energized. Also, I almost started to cry earlier because I couldn't open my Pocari so <laughs> I had this bottle of Pocari so because I had like a major, like, major migraine. And so I was, I was trying to, I was like, maybe I'm dehydrated. So I'm gonna like go like drink water and like, maybe the water won't work. So I'll try to drink Pocari sweat. Dude, I couldn't open my Pocari sweat and then I just almost and then I wanted to cry but I couldn't cry because I was so dehydrated. Like nothing was coming out. So I just I was like this. And then I, I couldn't cry because I was so So yeah. Um uh, recommend a hopeless romantic book. I don't know, any romantic book is a hopeless romantic book. The issue with reading romance books is that they make you delulu. They make you delulu. Like, actually. You have this, like... You have this inflated idea of romance and, like, this perfect idea of what you want. And the reality of that is that a lot of men aren't like that because most romance books are written by women. For women. So the dialogue that is coming from the man in the book is not real. And I think in my mind, I don't realize that it's not real. And I'm just like, I just want a man to speak to me like that, but he's not going to speak to me like that because it's not real. And I'm just, 
it makes me so sad to think about that that like like this idea of romance I have in my head is not real and a lot of men don't even think like that or want the same things and I was just like oh that's so sad and what if you think about it like no because men written by women that's all I want but they're not real <laughs> not, I don't I like I don't know how to accept the reality of that and that's why maybe I, ignorance is bliss and maybe I should have never read romance books but we gotta deal with that now and the thing is is that like I read this book the other day um and like the guy was so sweet and understanding and like he could read the girl's mind basically and I'm just like but that's not real like like that's not real because <laughs> the writer knows the other character so well and the writer knows that character so well I'm just like it's not real and then it just it's so sad um but even just like romance in general like in media like like you know your favorite tv show where like the guy is super considerate and he's romantic and he is amazing and he's perfect and he's handsome and he's tall and he's funny and he has a personality and it's just like and then you become so picky because in your head you're like delulu and what do you do with that because no man is ever going to be like no man is ever going to be that <laughs> i don't read colleen hoover books because they're ill and not in like a sexist like romance books are ill kind of way but in a like a in like a she writes some weird stuff like, she wrote this one line about her son's balls, and I was just like, ew. Also, uh, Colleen Hoover, Colleen Hoover did this thing where her son assaulted somebody, and she was like, that's not real. <laughs> and that's weird. So I choose not to read her books. Um... I am a contemporary fiction girly. Or like magical realism is a good genre. Just contemporary lit is just so fun for me. Sorry, I'm getting notifications on Messenger. I know. Dude, Angela, every time she joins my live, is like liking like crazy, which is so funny. Kendall Jenner reads weird books i watched this video by jack edwards he's like a book youtuber and he does this he does series where like he calls it celebrity book club where he reads the books that celebrities have recommended kendall jenner's are so weird 